What's up everybody, Nate here from Out of the Basement bringing you a brand new action figure overview. Today, from Star Wars The Black Series, we are taking a look at the very first Jedi Survivor figures. We have the Riot Scout Trooper, the KX Security Droid, and a B1 Battle Droid. All three of these are part of the Gaming Greats line, which means they are GameStop exclusive, retailing for $27.99. In the near future, we do have a brand new Cal Kestis, which will be a brand new figure head to toe, matching his look in the game. But of course, in typical Hasbro fashion, you know, we get the easy reuse figures before we see anything new, which is fine with me. But since we just recently got that gameplay trailer and just another new cinematic trailer, I am absolutely hyped for Jedi Survivor. So I thought now would be the perfect time to talk about the very first Black Series figures we are seeing from the game. So let's start out by taking a quick look at the packaging here. You can see the Riot Scout Trooper is in a windowed box and has a nice little mural on the side there. This is also the 14th figure in the Gaming Grades line. And then we have the two droids here which are in plastic free packaging. You can see we get a nice digital render of the figures on the front. The KX droid is the 15th figure in the line, and the B1 battle droid is the 16th figure. So it's kind of nice to get all of these right back to back. And here's a nice shot of the mural. And pause it right now if you would like to read any of their bios. And very briefly, I do love this new thing that they're doing on the spine here for the Black Series figures, including the heights and what you actually get in the package. I think this is a really cool idea. So now let's just jump into the actual figures themselves. We'll start out with the Riot Scout Trooper. It's no surprise that this is once again on that old 2014 Scout Trooper body. One that I do think is still pretty good by today's standards, but I will admit that it could definitely use some upgrading. I think we're starting to get to that point where I'm thinking Hasbro, we're gonna need a brand new Scout Trooper figure sometime in the near future. If we can get one for the Stormtrooper, there's no reason we can't see it for the Scout, which I think is definitely the second most popular trooper, at least in terms of how many times we've actually seen it released in the line. We do get a brand new shield accessory with this figure. It has some really nice sculpted details that are unpainted, but it also has a nice little translucent orange visor part on the shield, which I really like how that turned out. And I love that you could actually get it posed up and you can see the scout's visor through the shield. The other accessory we get with him is simply the shock baton that we've seen a few times in the past, originally with that Jedi Fallen Order scout trooper. It is mildly disappointing that we don't get the ankle blaster for some reason. I feel like, you know, they could have just thrown that in the box. How much more would that have really costed? But yeah, for whatever reason, no ankle blaster with this scout trooper. So you've got a nice molded ankle holster with nothing to put in it. Yeah, I think you're still going to be able to get some decent posability out of this figure. I mean, it does have double elbows, double knees. It also has vertical hinges for the wrists, so it holds the shield and the shock baton pretty easily. Just be very careful with that plastic strap on the arm. Those do snap, so watch out for that. But it appears to be pretty game accurate from everything that we've seen so far, so... I'm always happy to get another scout trooper for the shelf. Next up, we have the KX security droid, which obviously reuses the K2SO Black Series figure body. We do have a little bit of different paint apps this time around to spice things up a little bit. We got a red shoulder pad and some little bits of gray throughout the figure. My copy that I have does seem to have some nice tight joints this time around. I know in the past, and I can speak from personal experience, that the K2SO figures love to shelf dive. And so far with this one, even with the brand new big backpack piece on it, I've had no problems having it stand up for long periods of time. However, I'm sure that that's going to vary somewhat copy to copy. I know Landspeeder Luke had issues getting the KX and the B1 Battle Droid figures to stand up, but so far Justin and I have had no issues with these new releases. So like I said, we also get a brand new backpack sculpt that just plugs right into the back of the figure. It does have an armband strap similar to what we see with the Scout Trooper, but on the droid you actually just kind of clip it on there, and I think this does work out a little bit better since it's not fully enclosed on the actual arm of the figure, so it's going to prevent any sort of breakage. 
And we also get a shock baton, which again is the same shock baton accessory we've seen time and time again. However, this time it is a little bit difficult for the KX droid to actually hold the shock baton. The hands were definitely not sculpted with that accessory in mind. And the final figure on today's overview is just the B1 battle droid. This figure does not have any new accessories whatsoever. It is simply just a repaint. You can see now it's in like a maroon sort of off-white with gray color scheme. I think what draws me to this figure is the actual context within the game itself. You know, given the time period, Jedi Survivor does take place five years after Jedi Fallen Order. So this is pretty far in the timeline for CIS droids to be showing up, but we did also see some other droids in the trailer as well. And it seems like these must be reprogrammed by some character we're gonna see in the actual game itself. So I'm excited to see where this B1 actually fits. But for now, I do just think it is a cool repaint of the B1 battle droid. And just like with the KX droid, the B1 also will vary from copy to copy. My joints feel pretty tight on mine. I have no stability issues with this particular B1, but I can definitely tell you that a lot of my B1s in the past, I've had nothing but issues with getting them to stand up. So I definitely know that it is a possibility with this figure, but at least on my copy, so far so good. So at the end of the day, these three figures are simply just army building repaints. It's the easiest stuff that Hasbro does. It's always the stuff that we see first. I do appreciate the couple new bits and pieces here and there that we got with the KX and the Riot Scout Trooper, but with them being priced so high at $27.99 here in the United States, I have to say that ultimately, these are figures that you should wait to go on sale before you pick them up. I know that's what I did. They have gone on sale a few times already since their release. I have no reason to believe that most of you out there, if you haven't picked them up already, will be able to get these on sale because, yeah, I feel at $27.99, we really don't get a whole lot of bang for our buck since these are just Army Builder repaints. Now, I do still think they are really fun figures. I've had a lot of fun with the Riot Scout Trooper. I love the addition of the shield and the more droids, the merrier for my collection as well. I'm always happy to get some new ones, especially when they are going to be adding to the Imperial Army and the CIS. If you want to grab these figures, they are easily available on GameStop's website. And at least in my area, I've seen quite a few of them on shelves as well. So they should be pretty easy to come by. So there you have it. That was my triple threat overview of the three brand new Jedi Survivor Gaming Greats Black Series figures. If you enjoyed my review, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. We're always talking about Star Wars, the Black Series here on the channel. And if you'd like to support us in a more direct manner, we do offer a channel membership for 99 cents a month. We also have a small collection of merch as well. There are links for everything in the description of this video. Special thank you to our current channel members though. Your continued support is truly appreciated and thank you to everyone else out there for simply watching, liking, and subscribing. Share this video with all of your Star Wars action figure loving friends. I'm Nate from Out of the Basement. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.